Welcome back, welcome back. This is the Learning Curve on Music here, people in our way. Today we have a master in a track. I went to get a haircut earlier today, you know. I mean, I was I wanted to um do the master earlier today, but that there's a little tired of people, you know. So I had the master in here today, you know. What I mean, I want to master the master the track. I show you a, a different f- different sequence of what I normally do when I get like a master, like I want to do a mix and I want to master a track now, you know. You see, people, it's it take me like two or three days to like to master a track, see. Yesterday I track w- well yesterday I started track right earlier in the day and then after I give my s- I give my ears a rest. It's always good to give your ears a rest when you're doing like a master in a track for yourself. If you feel like you don't have the right tools, you send it to your friend and your friend master it for you, right? Then now here we are I do now. You master the track, see it? and then when your friend send it the track he master for you, then you s- then you then then you can compare what results you get from it. Now you know what you know. Your master song from his own, you know. But it's always good to give yourself a little rest. You do like a four mixing, and then after listening track, constant listening track, constant listening track, find out all the details and r- w- get a pen and paper and always write down all the faults and and stuff. And always good to get a reference track. Always good to get a reference track. And then you want to say, all right, you want to bring up the frequency to, to the reference. See? Tonight, I did a, um, a reference. Earlier today, I did a reference before I start this mastering. So, the track, I couldn't play the track because I threw copyright. And I don't want like to get flagged. As I tell you guys, man, when you're p- uploading stuff and it's not yours, you... you you can get flagged and it's not a nice thing to get flagged from YouTube and I try to run this channel without getting flagged, you know? See? So I um I put a I put a track inside it in the in the program earlier and you know uh, and I get the reference. The reference frequency is just right here. Right here is the frequency. Right here is the frequency. But the the plugin I using is from Waves PAZ Frequency. Yeah, I mean, I talk about this plugin f- in the past. You know, I mean, last year, Christmas time is the best time to go and buy plugins. That's the best time to buy plugins, people. You know what I mean? That's the best time. You go and purchase some plugins that cost, right now, them plugin costing like $4,000, $5,000 right now. See? But it got other free stuff out there. But I just prefer this here, people, you know. This this is like an accurate frequency chart. You know what I mean? When you do want to do when you want to do reference 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 mix, you know. So my neighbor tell me you want the music to sound just like a certain track. You know what I mean? So I had to put the put the um the track inside it and let it let it let this analyzer pass frequency analyzer, analyze the reference. And then I save it, I freeze it, and I save it. You know what I mean? So this is this, this is common sense. If you hear the plugin, you know what I'm talking about. You see? So we're gonna start the mix right now, and I want you guys to like listen to the mix and tell me how it's song. You know what I mean? And you know, so you can hear the mix mix down from the MP3 now. You know? And the reason why I was telling you guys about the um thing last night, and I. L- I like my mix between negative 23. See? The reason why I want my mix negative 23 is like all these peaks here. So you can take a you can, you can take a lot a lot of heavy limited. See? So the DR dynamic range is 11. See? That's why I like studio ones. You know, let's get like a nice input of it. Dynamic range is 11. That's good. And then the R128 negative 22.7. That is very excellent for a mix. The peak level is 9.4. And that is good. It in, it in, it is below 6, negative 6. And that is good for a, a mass time. And the RMS is 21. And that is good. You want the RMS when you're when you limited 
to come down to at least 10. I like to keep my own between 10 to 12. Honestly, I'm right limited them. But I'm going to show you this in the big and like in the, and then we're going to use this frequency here. This are uh, this something called a company called Clam Clan, you know, the, and it, I just purchased this for like I think it's only nine dollars. I purchased this for twenty nine dollars, and this could help you help you with your mix constant. It's been I had the old program, but this here is the best one. This might be the best one out of all that everything right now on the internet right now that keep your view meter intact. It's like a view meter. See so I'm gonna play the preview for you guys because I don't want to talk too too long. See so this is the learning curve of music, you know what I mean? We're gonna start the mix right now. What left some of them are weird had the bus stop. No get the bus and go fall off track and see them a bus back. I wait for bus back. But guess what? See la see I alone, Miss Alot, all red light at the trend chronics attack it to me. Say me nah, do we babil and bar me do the Alright, we stop the mix right, you see? Did you see the 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 the, 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 the What? Left some of them out here had the bus stop. Love get the bus and go fall off track and see them a bus back and we see bus back. We need this frequency all the way up to here, people, you know what I mean? We need to get it up to here. Close to this. See? Alright. No, I mean, no, 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 play it off right here. What? Left some of them out here had the bus stop. No, get the bus and go fall off track and see them a bus. We need to get the frequency right here. See? Close to this, close to this line right here. Yeah, I just want to see, try something here. Yeah. So first again, we need to use our EQ. A linear phrase EQ from PSP. I've been using this plugin for many, many years. This is one of my favorite plugin. Favorite EQ plugin. I used this, this plugin in 2010. My first mix I ever had did. I used this plugin and I just fall in love with it. And this is like one of my go-to EQ that I use in mastering. See it? Like I like like the like my video always say what I like to do is roll off. Roll off. Use a twelve dB and roll up to like thirty. See? Alright. High pass of thirty D B the, the octave I use was twelve twelve. What left some of them out here had the bus stop? No. Next one I did, I did uh reason why I like this this plugin is got something called when I right click this this button here, when I right click this here, the knob the frequency, when I right click it, yeah, listen to what what happened. When I right click it. What? You hearing that? There's a bass I don't want inside of the mix, you know? I don't want that inside of the mix. But if you're playing, if you if you get to put that in your in your car stereo, you play back this in the car stereo, you'll find the bass song and drunk in, you know? Only man with pants for ways. Me now fall on. What I did was and when the old Jamaica bleached What I did was I cut I cut at negative four point eight, close to five. See it? Next one I did, next EQ I did, same right click. I right click this, the green, at 200. Listen to it. Looking for the bad frequency in the track. What I did was I cut at negative point seven seven, you know, and I use the Q at three point seven eight. See? All right, let's move on right now.
Them out be a taddy bus. No get the bus and go fall off track and see them a bus back. I wait for the bus back. But guess what? See, I see I alone, Miss Alota. All red light at the trend, chronics are talking to me. Say me now, do we have a bill? Do we have a bill and buy me? Do them dress in a straight jeans, me in a car. You see, I was ruling our course. And I hear a frequency I don't like. See? And I cut at CM77. I cut at 77. It's the same, almost the same Q value. See? Like I always said, I like to cut first before I boost. It's always good to cut before you boost. Always cut before you boost. Because if you try to use like a high shelf right now, it's like it defeating the purpose of of your cutting. So what I did now, moving on right now, I put a compressor. This is not like a regular compressor. You know what I mean? This one of them analog compressor that from PSP. And I, and I believe I'm going to use only PSP plugins, you know? I'm going to use only PSP plugins to master this track. And I tell them I've been using this plugin. These are my favorite plugins in the whole, in, the, in my whole entourage. I don't really use them much, but I use them. I only pick and choose different kind of mix, you know? Like the hip-hop mix and them, I like to use PSP and give my a nice grit. You know what I mean? Like, if someone send me like a, uh, some drum kits and it's based on this, based on, um, it's based on hip-hop, I that is only plugins I use for hip-hop. And the reggae, I use different plugins. Uh, but it, it depends how I feel. I like because I'm so accustomed using this, this kind of plugin and know what to do with it now, you know. So moving on right now, there's a compressor called Mix PSP, Mix Presser. People, you know what I mean? This one of them underrated compressor in the world, uh, you know what I mean? A lot of producers use it, but nobody likes to talk about it because they like to keep it as a secret weapon. But I'm telling you right now, if you get your hands on this plugin, you definitely... You mix them, you mix them will come together. And this one, one of my secret weapons I use to glue a track, to glue the mastering, you know? You know what I mean? The reason why I'm using this, I like to get like close to 1 dB, see? And the attack, I like to set the attack to 16. It don't have a ratio or anything. All I look at is needle going up to 1. I do not like go past 1. Sin. So listen to the track song now. Right now I have the, the, the shape set at you gotta play with the shape. Listen on the oh listen on the my weird had the bus stop. Love get the bus and go for a laugh track and see them a bus back. I wait for bus back. But guess what? See la see I alone, Miss Alot, all red light at the trend chronics are talking to me. Say me nah, do we have a bill and bar me? Do them dress in a straight jeans, me in a car when me remember loud is not mean it's so ain't good. You know what I mean? I don't like to like to boost this wide, you know. When I boost this wide, the track will just come become loud, and I, and I, and that mean I got to stop. The reason why I don't like to boost that high because of the let me okay. let's pause it. Hold on, let me pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back again, right now. You know, I had a call this story. They had to pause the the session now. You know, yeah. Yeah, people, you know what I mean? So, the tra where the track is now, I'm compressing at, at 25%. And I hold it right now. The hole is something like, you know, like, uh, it's, I don't know, I can't really tell you how the hole is, you know? But all I like to put is, the hole is on 61%. And the release, like I tell you, I like to have a slow release time because I don't want, I don't want a pumping effect. I like to, I like to let, let this compressor. You know what I mean? Work. I don't want to get like pumping, pumping because I don't want, I want to put something else on, on, on the track to have it song and nice. So listen on the track song without. See? 
What? Left some of them out here to the bus stop. No get the bus and go fall off. I can see them a bus back. I will. Left some of them out here to the bus stop. No get the bus and go. Yeah, just now I realized the auto, the auto giving me a louder track. So I take up the auto and I, and I, you know, and then after I do the makeup again at 2.2. See, so listen to it without the, listen to it without the, the compressor on. Them out here to the bus stop. See it? So it gave me like a 20. Now we're going to see release it now. We want to see how much is increased. You get a perfect 20 right on this thing. There's a reason why I'm telling people, you know what I mean? It's good to have this 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 um this plugin in M V U M T Deluxe. Let's go check them out, people, you know what I mean? And tell them, trust me, if you had this on your master and you're following this video, you definitely be to come out something like this, you know? Yeah, moving on right now, man. You, you using right now me moving on to the to, to the next EQ, a vintage EQ. You know, since this rhythm is like 2000 and it came out 2001, I believe, and it's like 15 years ago, 16 years ago, because in 2017, I want to keep, because most of, the, most of them instrumental these days, old instrumental, they never really use digital, they don't even use the analog, and I'm using an analog here, right now I'm using an analog right now, see, what I did, I, I, I put the high pass on, it's like the Pearl Tech. You know what I mean? PSP Noble Q. It's very vintage, you know? What I did was keep it on, on boost. I boost one. Shell, shell frequency 80. And I'm 0.5. And 0.5 at uh, tune weight. Listen to it song. You don't want all this high. So you want to keep to keep it until the taste. Listen to it. Right. So that song, that song is tough. You know what I mean? And I, I put it on two if you had an EQ. And I put the peak frequency at four. At four K. At four K. And I'll put the wide, the width. The, the boost, I boost, I boost in it. I'm boosting at 2.5. And I boost, and I, I have it at four K. And the width at four. Shelf frequency. I'm keeping it at, I'm boosting, I'm boosting. Because I'm about already cut full, so you know. Remember, people are cutting up. I cut it. I, I boost not twelve and and two and a, and a, and a, and a, and a sh and a, the gain of two. Listen to it.
the solar attracts something nice already and i have the value I, I make the value into clear i don't know for some reason i just keep it on clear see what i did next put in a plug-in called vintage warmer 2. this is very very easy to understand people you know i'm gonna put it back to zero zero so you guys can see what's going on with this plug here you know mm, we back to zero zero all right yeah the first time you um from the first time you you put it on 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 this track it's gonna be like this single you need to bring it down bring down the single to multi to multi to, to multi and bring on the fat because there's a there's a processing there's a there's a kind of dim um kill out the latency see it? and they keep link on not link off and from the mono you bring it on the stereo because most of this track is a stereo track see it? and they keep the speed at 100 people keep the speed at 100 never touch the speed the release you put it on auto see it? the knee you cannot overdo it listen if you overdo it the view meter to flick between 0.5 to 1 because you're already compressing at 1 db already you already compressing at 1 db already so you want to you want to keep the, the needle at 0 0.5 to 1 don't make it go past one. You don't want it because it goes song, it goes song distorted. Because you don't really compress it already with the mix, with the mix presser. So listen how the thing song with it here now. Exaggeration now. No. between five to eight percent so listen to his song <laughs> you got the needle flicking at at ten percent you had to move the knee to ten percent and you always remember you had to push it drive at one you know what I mean? You could put a higher drive and a lower knee. But I like to put my my knee at 10% and my drive at 1. So listen to what is So the track song and sweet already. One more thing I like to do before we go into the limited i like to put one more eq to kind of clean it up a little bit now you know see to get the vocal more up in front bring the vocal up in front what i did was you know what i mean i put a high shelf at 2.5 a peak at 1.8 and another peak at at 740 you know, listen to it song Some of them are weird at the bus stop. 
Enough get the boss and Right, you see, how do you think the song is nice with a, with, a, with a master cue, you know what I mean? So listen to the track song now, without, without any limiting, so see, all the plug is off. Def some of them are weird. And when the old Jamaica bleach them face me off a land of a heart. Yeah, so that track song, you know, now master, you know, the, 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 the limit that we're going to put on a, a plugin called PSP Exxon. See it? I did a, a preset. The preset I used was CD Master 3 Recon. See it? And all I did was move the ceiling to negative one. I just like to put my ceiling ever, ever since I like to put my ceiling on negative one. See it? Right now, the output here, this knob here is to get increase. Right now, it's on six right now. We just want to see if the RMS going to come between 10 to T11. See it? Right now, let's play the track. Tell them I left some of them out here. Them a wait at the bus stop. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, well let's see how the track song is now, you know what I mean? The RMS are getting about 10, and are getting close to the 1, see? Now, just to uh, render this file, and just give it the right, you know? Now, let's hope you love it, you know what I mean? Let's render it right now, you know? Yeah. Let me render the file, a quick render. You know, I'm gonna press pause, and we'll be back when you're done render, you see? Yeah, yeah, welcome back, welcome back. It is a little cover music, yeah. I finished the master now, you know what I mean? So, look what I, look what, look what, it, what, what I tell you about what I love using this plugin. The original track was 11 dynamic range, right? Now, the, 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 the master track, the, 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 the dynamic range is still 11. Anybody lose nothing. And the RMS is 12. And the peak level is one, and the peak level is one, and I, re I really I just lose ten out of, out of this, you know, around two eight. This track is good to go on iTunes if I if I if I choose to put it on iTunes, and it's and it's, if it's choose to go on the radio right now, 
it will be ready to play on the radio. See? So, that's how the track song. They got all the plugins. This is all the master song. And all they're going to they say, whoa, this song really song. All they're going to say is different. You know, this is the, the, the original here. And this is the master right here. See? Him? Yeah. So listen to his song now. We go from up, we go um, open up this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you understand the whole process right here, people. You know what I mean? I'm just going to give my name right. Only might see this track on the internet because, you know, I want to. I want nobody to feel like a, 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 a size in them now, you know? So, yeah. This is learning curve of music, people, you know what I mean? Yeah, have a blessed night. You know what I mean? Hope you guys to, to comment, share, you know? Show some love, you know? Yeah. Next video, I'm going to upload. I'll try to upload something next week, you know? Because I need any month of my data. Near, near to short, you know? So I said, I'm going to upload some more videos now, you know? Yeah. Listen. Let's turn it on, boy.